From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Had some clouds, some showers move through this morning, very similar to yesterday. Uh, once again, only a couple spritzes here in the area. That's all we got. Here's our physical therapy and balance center's weather cam. Sun came out about mid-morning, and uh, since then, it's been going in and out of the clouds. Uh, we're kind of what we call a steady state type of regime where uh, one day is very similar to the previous day, and uh, this one, no different for the time being. Storm Tracker showing the last of those lingering showers uh, right now uh, along Oil City, Cranberry, Mercer, a little bit here. A couple of shots here in Warren and Crawford County, but nothing big time here for the day. Temperatures as we head toward the midday hour. Uh, wide range here, 64 in Union City, but most everyone else in the lower to mid 70s, including 76 with Dr. Tom Niagara Pier. And uh, 76 Sager Town, Meadville, which had a lot of rain earlier. Uh, Patty at 69. Gene Scandia uh, at 67 degrees for this morning. Dew points hovering eh, just around that dry, humid level, 60 degrees. Uh, so uh, there's a touch of humidity in the air. And uh, that, along with a uh, little sunshine, could lead to some pop-up storms later in the day. Got any weekend plans? Weekend forecast. We're back to humid conditions. Celebrate Erie coming up this weekend. And uh, definitely want to make sure you drink a lot of water there. Late storms possible Saturday. That threat, though, pretty small. And it uh, looks like we'll have at least some scattered storms on Sunday. Wouldn't call it a washout. If Sunday was your plans to go out, keep them, but uh, be ready for maybe a hit of some storms from time to time, particularly during the afternoon. So satellite radar composite upper level wave still bringing in some Atlantic moisture. And uh, this is what's left of uh, the wave within the wave uh, that we've been talking about, uh, mainly I-80 and south. And uh, we had some good sunshine earlier. Clouds, some uh, what we call streets of clouds starting to form, some of them getting thick enough. Uh, where uh, we are seeing a few of those showers coming out. And you can see they pop up uh, mainly south of Erie. I don't think we'll see anything here in Erie for the afternoon. But farther inland, as has been the case lately, uh, we may get uh, a few storms perhaps until uh, a couple hours after sunset when they'll die out. Thursday, was thinking maybe some morning showers, but uh, looking less likely. We're still kind of under the outside influence of that wave. So we'll keep the threat of a few isolated showers or a storm late in the afternoon. Again, primarily in that Meadville to Warren corridor. After that, the ridge builds in to give us nice weather on Friday. It starts to tap the Gulf moisture for the weekend. That means the humidity goes up as well. So on the lake show, variable cloudiness, maybe a shower or two high temperatures in the upper 70s. And on the inland side, uh, you'll have uh, scattered, uh, possible scattered showers and storms uh, through the afternoon, your highs in the mid to upper 70s as well. Chautauqua, the Ganey area, more clouds overall, still some sun from time to time, scattered showers and storms, highs in the lower to mid 70s. Chance of showers for tonight, a little fog, especially in the mountains later on, mid 50s in the mountains, low 60s here in Erie. Partly sunny for tomorrow, some isolated or scattered showers and perhaps a rumble of thunder late in the afternoon, primarily south of Erie. And then great weather for Friday. Sunshine, not too humid though, but it does get muggy for the weekend. Scattered showers and storms Sunday and into the early part of next week. Get up